Good afternoon and welcome to the Now Detroit. I'm Brad Galley. And I'm Glenda Lewis. Three teens hospitalized in the last 24 hours. Canton police now with a warning for parents. And a recent fear is back again because they're saying a synthetic drug similar to bath salts is to blame. The Now Detroit's Jane Park is live in Canton with a message for parents. Well, Brad and Glenda, this case is scary for every parent because it's not what you'd expect. We're not talking about a drug dealer on a street corner. We're not talking about a drug you've even heard of. We're talking about kids getting high on a chemical potion, and they got it in a store. Marketed under names such as Cloud9 and Bliss, this drug's effects are anything but euphoric. Paranoid, violent behavior, racing heart. Canton police actively investigating what's in the clear liquid drug that sent three teenagers to the hospital Thursday. At least two of them took the drug on school grounds, but as far as how they got it, where they bought it, it's unclear. And it's something new that we've never seen before. This is, again, the last 24 hours is kind of the, the time span that we've seen it pop up. Police say the teenagers either inhaled the drug as a vapor or directly ingested it. The users complained of a rapid heart rate and hallucinations similar to side effects caused by K2 synthetic marijuana or bath salts. But more alarming, police say, they're still trying to determine what they're dealing with. The bottle gives no clues. These products, we don't know how they're going to affect the body. We don't know what they're going to do to you. But police say this tiny bottle kids are paying up to 30 bucks for can lead to serious illness, even death. The strong message they're sending parents tonight, be on the lookout for anything with fishy labeling. And if your kids display any unusual behavior, hallucinations, paranoia, chest pain, nausea, or vomiting, call 911. And for more information on the dangers of these bath salts and this mystery drug, we can head to our Facebook page. That's facebook.com slash the now Detroit. As for the business that's been selling these uh, drugs to kids, police tell me they're executing a search warrant. We'll have those updates for you uh, later on in the now and in later editions of Action News. But for now, live in Canton, Jane Park, the now Detroit. Nice work out there. Thanks a lot, Jane. And